اهلا بكم طلابي طلاب الصف الاول الاعدادي معكم مستر محمد محمود النهارده ان شاء الله هنبدا مع بعض حل تدريبات الدرس الاول والثاني في الجبرا الصف الاول الاعدادي هنبدا مع بعض ليسون 1 الاسئله طبعا دي من من كتاب المعاصر كتاب التدريبات exercise 1 on a set of irrational numbers botic for the correct statement and wrong uh, cross for the incorrect one number one each integer is a rational number each integer is a rational number and this one is right because all integers are rational numbers Each rational number is an integer. This is wrong. Zero is neither positive rational number nor negative rational number. Yes. If a over b is a rational number, then a not equal zero. It's wrong. Because B not equal to zero, not A. If A over B is a rational number that equals zero, then A equals zero. Yes. If A over B is a rational number, A should be zero. Number two, show which of the following numbers is rational number and which of them is not rational number. To know the rational number is rational number, the, the number is rational number or not, if its denominator is zero, it's not a rational number. If its denominator is zero, it's not a rational number. Two over three is a rational number. Yes, zero means zero over one, it's a rational number. 6.5 means Six, 65 over 10 is a rational number. Negative 1.8 means negative 18 over 10 is a rational number. The mixed number 12 and 5 over 6 is a rational number also. 2 minus 2 over 3. Subtract 2 minus 2, it will be 0. 0 over 3 equal 0. So it's a rational number. 4 over 5 minus 5. 5 minus 5 equals 0. 4 over 0, it's not a rational number. The denominator here equals 0. So this one is not a rational number. 3 to power 2 equals 9. It's a rational number. Negative 4 to power 0. Any number to power 0 equals 1. Any number to power 0 equals 1. So it's a rational number. Number three, show which of the following number is integer. Integer means the numerator, the numerator divisible by the denominator. The numerator divisible by the denominator. يعني معناه إنه the numerator اللي هو فوق لو عملت له divided by العدد اللي تحت يديك whole number. Whole number, عدد صحيح. 15 over 5. 15 divided by 5 equal 3. It's a whole number. So it's integer. 4 over 8. 4 not divisible by 8. It's not integer. Negative 35 over 7 equal 5. So it's integer. Negative 14 over 14 equals 1. So negative one is integer. Negative four, 24 over five, 24 not divisible by five, it's not integer. Zero over five equals zero, so it's integer. Three and a quarter, it's not integer.
complete h of the following is such that it express a rational number three quarter this is the same as equivalent fraction we saw it uh, in grade four equivalent fraction Tesawi al kusur three quarter to answer it three and here nine three times what equal nine three times three so four times three equals twelve four times what equal eight times two three times two equals six four over five and here ten five times what equal ten five times two four times two equals eight four times what equals sixteen times four five times four equals twenty Number five. Number five, book each of the following numbers in the symbols to four. Here you will simplify each, uh, each rational number or fraction to its symbols to four by find the highest common factor the highest common factor 15 and 25 15 and 25 15 over 25 the two numbers 15 and 25 divisible by 5 so you will divide by 5 you will get 3 and here you will get Five. Negative twenty four over fifty six. The two numbers twenty four and fifty six divisible by eight. So you will divide by eight, you will get negative three. Divide by eight equals seven. Forty five. over 20. This is improper fraction. Improper fraction means numerator greater than denominator. So at first you will divide by 5. It will be 9 over 4. And if you want to change it into mixed number, it will be two and a quarter. Then negative 132 over 88. 88, it's divisible by two numbers, eight and 11 and two and maybe four and uh, now we can divide the two numbers by 11 the first number divided by 11 it will be twelve over divided by eleven it will be eight then Divide by four it will be negative three over two. Number six, which of the following rational number can be written as terminating decimal?
Now, which of these you can write it as a decimal? A decimal, terminating decimal means uh, in a decimal that montehi, not recurring decimal. Recurring decimal, decimal the whole malhush nihaya, repeated decimal like 0 0.3333 and so on. So, here you can use the, the calculator to answer it. 7 over 15, if you divide 7 over 15, use your calculator to divide 7 over 15. You will get zero point four and six 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 and so on. You will go six over. Uh, point over six, so it's not terminating decimal. It's recurring. Seven over twenty. You can make the denominator was as one hundred by multiplying by five. It will be thirty-five over one hundred. So it will be zero point three five five over eight you will multiply five times one hundred twenty five will be six hundred Six hundred twenty five over one thousand. So it will be zero point six two five. Negative eight over nine. You will divide eight divided by nine using your calculator. You will get recurring decimal. It's zero point eight, and the eight is repeated. So it's not terminating decimal. Five over eleven, you will divide five over eleven. You will get zero point four five and it's repeated. So it's not recurring. It's, it's not terminating, it's, it's recurring. Negative 13 over 22. You will divide it using your calculator, you will get 0 0.590. And the 90 is repeated, so it's recurring this month. 17 over 6, you will get 
3 and 3 is repeated. So it's recurring this one. 2 and 2 fifths, it's easy. It will be 2.4. By multiplying 5 times 2 and 2 times 2, it will be 4 over 10. So it will be 2.4. Next 1 and 2 thirds, we know that 1 third equals 0 0.3 repeated. So it will be negative 1.6 and 6 repeated. So it's recurring this one. Negative 1 and 2 over 9, uh, it will be positive 1 and 2 over 9. When you divide 2 over 9 using the, your calculator, you will get uh, 2 recurring. It will be 1.2. Repeated decimal, so it's recurring decimal. Write each rational number in the form a over b. It's easy. Negative five. You will write it negative five over one. Zero zero over one. 0 0.7 over uh, 7 uh, 0.75 it's 75 over 100 and you can um, make it in simplest form it will be three quarters zero point negative 0 0.01 it will be negative one over 100 uh, 5.4, it will be 54 over 10, 30 percent, 30 over 100, and you can simplify it. 4.5 percent, it will be 4.5 over 100, or 45 over 1,000, and then simplify. 8 and 2 thirds, you will change it into a borrower fraction. So 3 times 8, it will be 24, 24 and 2, 26 over three. Write the following rational number as a decimal and percentage. As a decimal, To write 1 over 6 as a decimal, you can use your calculator. By divide 1 divided by 6, you will get 0 point. One, six, and 6 is repeated. So when you change it into percentage, you will multiply 0 0.166 times 100 percent. You will get 16.5 6 and 6 is repeated verse. Two and a half, you can change it into 2.5, then multiply it by 100 percent. It will be 250. Negative 3 over 20. You can multiply the two numbers by 1 by 5. So it will be negative 0. Point, uh, it will be negative 15 over 100. And to change it as a decimal, it's 
0 0.15 to change into percentage you will multiply by 100 percent you will get 15 percent negative 15 percent 5 over 9 When you divide 5 by 9 using your calculator, you will get 0 0.555 and so on. It, it's repeating a decimal or recurring decimal. It will be 0 0.5. To change into percentage, you will multiply by 100. You will get 55.5. And the 5 is recurring. 5 is repeating. Seven and three over sixteen. Divide uh, seven. Uh, divide three over sixteen using your calculator and the bot uh, seven as a whole number. You will get seven point one eight seven five. By multiplying it by one hundred, you will get seven hundred eighteen point seven five verse. At last. 16 over 3 divide 16 by 3 using the calculator you will get 5.3 and the 3 is repeating when you multiply it by 100 percent you will get 53 point three and the three is repeated so you will put point over eight Number 10, if A equal to B equal 6, show which of the following numbers is a rational number and which of them is irrational. A over B, A over B equal 2 over 6, it's a rational number. Negative 2 over A, A equal 2, so it will be negative 2 over 2, it will be negative 1, it's a rational number. 0 over B plus A. B plus A, 6 plus 2 will be 8. 0 divided by 8 equals 0. It's a rational number. Uh, 2B over A minus 2, A equals 2. 2 minus 2 equals 0. So this one is not a rational number. Eleven complete the following. 5 over A is a rational number. Then A not equal 0. The number 3 over x minus 2 is a rational number. x not equal, you will make x minus 2 equal 0. So x not equal 2. And here's the same, you will make x minus 3 not equal 0. So you will get x not equal 3. The number 2 over 3x is a rational number. x not equal, you will make 3x equal 0. So you will get x equal 0. The rational number 4 minus x over x minus 3 equals 0, so you will make 4 minus x equals 0, so you will get x equal 4.
here you will make x minus 5 equal 0 so x equal 5 Change quarter to be percentage. Quarter equal space person. You know that quarter is as a decimal equal 0 0.25. You will multiply by 100, you will get 25 percent. Absolute value of negative 0 0.4 will be 0 0.4, positive 0 0.4. Then multiply by 100, it will be 40 bears. Choose the correct answer from the given, uh, given ones. F negative 4 over 5 equal 20 over x. 4 times what equal 20 times 5. So here we have negative. So negative 5 times what equal x. You will multiply by 5 also. So negative 5 times 5 will be negative 25. The answer is negative 25. The number a minus 6 over a minus 4 is not rational number. So this part equals 0. Once the number makes this part equal 0, you will put it as 0. a minus 4 equals 0, so a equals 4. The rational number a over b is an integer. If a is smaller than b, a greater than b, B is divisible of A. A is divisor of B. The, the answer A, B is divisible of A. يعني معناها إن ال B إن ال A تبع الاسم على B. Express 0.57 as a rational number in simplest form. Here you will use your uh, calculator by putting 0 0.57 and repeat it more times. 0 0.57575757 and put uh, then write equal, you will get the answer. And here also you will write negative 8.8, .8, uh, negative 8 over 25. It will be 8 over 25. Then to change it into uh, this value will multiply by 4. So it will be 32 over 100. It will be 0 0.32. 0 0.32, this one wrong, and this one also, and this one. So the answer 32 bears. The number 12 bears will be 12 over 100. 12 over 100, when you simplify it, it will be 3 over 25. The rational number x over negative 3 is negative. If x equal greater than, if x greater than 0, smaller than 0, greater than or equal 0, equal 0. If x greater than 0, x is positive. Positive divided by negative, it will be negative. So the answer is this one. A over b is a rational number. a, b equals 0. a, b means a multiplied by b. Then, if uh, a, b is a rational number, b not equal 0. So if you multiply a times b, you, you will get 0. So a should be 0. A should be zero. So the answer is this one. A equal zero and the B not equal zero. The number five X over absolute value of X minus two does not belong to Q if X. Yeah. 
يعني معناها ان هي نوت راشونال نمبر طبعا لازم يكون دي ايه زيرو دينامينيتور ايكوال زيرو ابسوليوت فاليو اوف اكس ماينس 2 ايكوال نوت ايكوال زيرو سو ابسوليوت فاليو اوف اكس ماينس 2 ايكوال زيرو تو بي نوت راشونال نمبر So absolute value of x equal to so x will be positive or negative two. وكده يكون انتهينا من شرح التدريبات الدرس الأول. إن شاء الله نكمل الدرس الثاني في حلقة قادمة إن شاء الله. شكرا لكم معكم مستر محمد محمود.